Two empires fueled by darkness and hatred go head to head today as the Rakatan Infinite Empire tries to survive a Yuzon Vong invasion. Which side will come out on top? Find out today. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slatter. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Star Wars Galactic Versus, the series where you put two different factions head to head and try to predict which one would come out on top. Before I start this episode, I would like to just very briefly say thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and in particular Salty, who recently became my first ever Dreadnought class supporter. YouTube revenue is always very much up in the air, so thank you you guys for making my life a bit easier. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link down in the description. This week I'm going to be starting a new program where once a week I take a Patreon suggestion for a versus video and make it into an actual video, so for just a dollar you can be a part of that club. Anyway, I'm sorry for rambling, let's get into the content. As I said, today we are taking the Infinite Empire from the old, old, old days of the Star Wars universe and putting them against the Yuzang Vong invaders. The Vong will be invading the galaxy at the height of the Rakatan Empire's power, and this will be a fight to the death. Let's give some basic information about both of these factions. We'll start with the Rakatan Infinite Empire. The Infinite Empire was a government established tens of thousands of years before the Battle of Yavin. It was ran primarily by the Rakatans, however it was further comprised of dozens if not hundreds of slave races. Rakatans, and thus the Empire generally, were sadistic, cruel conquerors. The Rakatans were introduced to the Force by an earlier Empire, however instead of finding balance in the darkness and the light, they only studied and mastered the dark side. The dark side of the Force influenced basically everything in Rakatan society. Many, if not most Rakatan, certainly those in military positions, were capable of using the dark side, and many were very powerful warriors. Rakatan technology, including the Star Forge, was also created using dark side power, and really the foundation of their whole empire was force based technologies. The Rakata were one of the first species to actually successfully use hyperdrive. However, the Rakatan hyperdrive was unique as it used the force to aid in navigation. This meant that, despite being around for over 10,000 years, the Rakatans managed to establish less than 1,000 total planets in their empire. A Rakatan computer in Knights of the Old Republic says the following, At its peak, the Infinite Empire ruled over 500 planets and was comprised of 10 billion Rakata and over a trillion slaves scattered across the galaxy. But the glory of the Infinite Empire was built on war and slaughter. It was inevitable it should collapse upon itself. Conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Worlds were ravaged and millions of lives were lost. Sensing the weakness of their oppressors, the slaves rebelled and overthrew their masters, and then came the plague. So obviously despite its longevity, the Rakatan Empire was relatively small. I mean, in total, the planet of Coruscant probably had a comparable population. It's further worth mentioning that only some of these Rakatans and only some of the slaves would have been capable of actually fighting against the Yuzan Vong. Looking back at the Rakatan technology, I want to reiterate that it was fueled by the dark side. Now obviously this gave the tech great power, but as the dark side usually does, it also influenced the Rakatans and ended up corrupting them. This is well established and it helps explain why the Rakatan Empire had so much infighting, so much cruelty, and why it eventually collapsed. Also on the topic of technology, it's important to look at the military of the Rakata. Obviously much of this was supplied by the Star Forge, which could take stellar objects and basically convert them into pure weaponry. We've never seen a Rakatan Dreadnought, and most of the ships that come out of the Star Forge do seem to be relatively similar. It's unclear to me whether the ships that we see in KOTOR are actually Rakatan ships, or whether the Star Forge's printing process, so to speak, was changed, but even in the earlier comic books, we see that Rakatan fleets seem to be comprised of only one type of ship. These ships would arguably be far, far less powerful than anything seen during the Galactic Civil War. I mean, there's over 30,000 years difference between the earliest Rakatan ships and the ships used by the Empire in the Rebel Alliance. We also see that the Empire struggled with relatively basic things like hyperspace. Also we don't see any dreadnoughts or any very large ships, which would become quite common. Let's now take some time to talk about the Yuzon Vong War. 
The Yuuzhan Vong were an extragalactic race which, after wiping out all other sentient species within their galaxy and seemingly destroying it, attempted to conquer the Star Wars galaxy. The Vong are notable for their use of organic technology, and that's everything from starships to handheld weapons to armor, along with their sadistic and cruel nature. The Vong are so cruel in fact that they were cut off from the Force. While they could still generally be attacked with force-based powers, they couldn't be sensed like an ordinary sentient being could be. Techniques like force lightning, which would deliver blasts of energy, could still be used by the Vong, but things like force push, where the Vong themselves were manipulated, were much less successful. Yuuzhan Vong technology was extraordinarily effective, at least during the early portions of the war, and for a while, because of things like Dovin Basils, it was very, very difficult to take down Vong ships. It should also be noted that the Yuuzhan Vong are master manipulators and infiltrators. As we saw during the invasion of the galaxy, one of the Yuuzhan Vong's main strategies is to infiltrate, destabilize, confuse, and conquer. I've talked about the Vong a few times in these videos, so I'll keep this short and just sum it up now. Generally, the Vong were deadly, they were cruel, they were extraordinarily harsh, and they were very, very powerful. The Yuuzhan Vong almost managed to defeat a united Star Wars galaxy, and although they lost, they killed almost 400 trillion beings in the process. With that being said, let's take a look at the matchup, and I think it's fairly clear that this one is totally, totally lopsided. The Yuuzhan Vong should be able to beat the Rakatan Infinite Empire in about a dozen different ways. First and foremost, the numbers here are just completely out of whack. We don't know the Yuuzhan Vong population numbers, but they were able to take a war to a galaxy with a population in the quadrillions. Also, 500 planets on the Infinite Empire side is absolutely tiny. The Vong will likely be able to strike fast against these planets, perhaps several at a time, and given that each one of these is very powerful in the Force, the loss of a single one will likely be quite devastating to the Infinite Empire. We also have a total technological disparity here. The Infinite Empire is so far ahead in basic technologies like hyperspace that the Vong will be able to literally jump circles around them. Things like the Star Forge will help, and they will also help with the lesser population, but I think just generally, the ships used by the Infinite Empire are likely to be a much lesser quality than those by the Vong. I also think that the Rakatans will likely struggle to adapt to the technologies of the Vong like the modern Star Wars galaxy was able to. The fact that the Vong are cut off and separated from the Force will also cause some difficulty for the Rakatans, who base much of their technology on the dark side. Going back to military technology for a second, Dreadnoughts like the Lusanko or the various Viscount class Star Defenders and super weapons like Centerpoint Station ended up being very, very important to the war effort. These assets will not be available to the Rakata. Finally, we know that the Rakatan Empire was basically always destabilized and teetering on the edge of extinction. Part of this was because slaves outnumbered the Rakatans by quite a lot. Part of this was because they worked so closely with the dark side, and also there was a lot of internal strife among the various positions, with many Rakatans jockeying for power. We see that particularly in the Force of War comics. All of these factors create a situation where the Empire could be brought down from within, and we know that the Yuuzhan Vong are experts at subterfuge. It's very possible that the Yuuzhan Vong could take down the Infinite Empire without actually firing a shot whether from initiating a slave revolt, or causing a civil war, or something else. We know that the Yuuzhan Vong succeeded, for example, at turning the galaxy against the Jedi, which was very demoralizing and devastating for their war effort. I can easily see them doing something similar here. All in all, the Rakatan Infinite Empire is, in my opinion at least, terribly, terribly outmatched. I don't think they have a hope of surviving a Yuuzhan Vong invasion, as the invaders would have superior numbers, technology, and they would be able to take advantage of an already crumbling empire. Sure, technologies like the Star Forge will be a great help, and that will help them keep their front lines supplied, but I think the lack of hyperspace, for example, is a huge one, and I think the Rakatans knew how vulnerable they were in this aspect because they do spend a lot of time and effort trying to gain access to the Qua Infinity Gates. But again, their current technology relies on force signatures and things like that, just a basic use of the dark side, which will not be effective against the Yuuzhan Vong. So I'll give the Yuuzhan Vong in this battle scenario a 10 out of 10 chance of successfully invading the Star Wars galaxy during the reign of the Infinite Empire. This is my second 10 out of 10, two days in a row. I am curious about whether you guys agree. Let me know down in the comments. Am I underestimating the Infinite Empire? 
Do they have some secret technology that I've forgotten? Or am I basically right that the Yuuzhan Vong will come in and basically sweep them away? Let me know that, and of course, any ideas you have for future videos down in the comment section. I would just like to take one more second to thank again Salty and everyone else who supports me not only on Patreon, but on the channel generally. If you guys would like to get further involved, make sure to follow me on Twitter, and most importantly, join the Discord. Links for both down in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the Force be with you.